Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome to another video. So before we start really quick, I want to show you the two paintings that I completed that are dried and resin now. Here is the 24 karat gold Dutch pour I did. It has the first layer of resin on it. It will be getting another so that it's nice and smooth. But you can see how that resin almost magnifies the image. All right, so that's that first one. And here is the sterling silver. Came out gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. This is on gallery wrapped. The other one was a level two canvas. Um, so the sides on this one are a little bit thicker. But boy, that resin, it really, really magnifies the painting when it's done. So I will be listing these in my Etsy shop. And then in tomorrow's video, I'll have another one for you to see, plus the copper one I have to show. So this is the first video in a three-part series of Dutch pours I'm going to be doing, uh, diptych style, two canvases. And I have chosen all medium body paints which I believe are probably the most used types of tube paints in acrylic pouring or the medium body so I chose to use all medium body to be able to tell you exactly how much of what I used okay because if I chose let's say to use a fluid mixed in with these. This calls for different, different amounts than these do. So I'm going to try to start using all the same bodies when I can in my videos to make it a little bit easier. So to start, let me just tell you the colors. We have light green permanent Liquitex, Liquitex bright aqua green, Blick, which is an art store, cobalt teal, Holbein phthalo turquoise in the blue shade. This is my absolute favorite color, one of them. That and the phthalo turquoise green, I absolutely love. And then three studio acrylics by Pebio, uh, the iridescent green blue, iridescent green yellow, and iridescent gold. So, Again, I'm using all the same body to paint just to make it easier. Doesn't mean that you have to. This is more geared towards new pourers that really are having a problem with their consistencies. So let me show you the consistency of my white. It's pretty fluid. It flows off the stick and goes right back into itself. It leaves a very, very light trace. And my colors do the same. Now, what are my measurements? My measurements for the colors were as follows. It was one tablespoon of medium body paint to an ounce and a half of Floetrol. Mix those two together. And then I used two capfuls of water off of a water bottle. So two capfuls. So again, for a three ounce paint cup, the little bathroom cups, I used a tablespoon of paint, one and a half ounces of Floetrol, and two caps of water. So if I had to add two caps to that, I would say it was about a teaspoon of water. And that is the consistency of my paint. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flood my canvas off screen to save some time and we're going to get right into it. So I have my white down, which by the way, <clears throat> considering the, uh, regarding the white, I made a large batch of it. So I can tell you off of my large batch what the measurements were, but you could pretty much follow the measurements for the colors that I did. So anyway, the measurements I did were 
uh, one ounce of paint, or I'm sorry, eight ounces of paint, um, 16 ounces of Floetrol, and I would say, uh, eight, 16, so that's 24. I would say probably six to, to eight ounces of, no, probably about five ounces of water to thin it out. So you want it really runny. Um, but like I said, that's a big measurement for a big, I can't tell you how much to use for yours because I don't know personally how much you're making. But anyway, let's get this on, get this going here. Um, so my paints have been sitting for a while. I've noticed this one's thick, thickened up a lot. So if that happens, just add a little tiny bit of water, cap full at a time, until it's good again. It was weird because, whoops, we didn't want that to happen. It was weird because this one teal color was a lot thicker feeling than even the metallics. And sometimes that will happen. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, it should be all right. Let's see here. I'm just worried about the water that's not mixed in. So I'm just going to kind of mush that around like that. Okay, here we go. So this is the Blick Teal that I'm using first. And I'm just going to go straight across. So you don't need much paint to do these, obviously. This is the Pebio Iridescent Blue Green. And I'll try to link these in my Amazon shop for you. Here's the green Liquitox. The iridescent green yellow from Pepio. These Pepio colors are really, really pretty. Nothing like my primary elements, but <laughs> just saying. They're very beautiful for a tube paint. This here is the bright aqua green from Liquitex. The Pebio Iridescent Gold. And then the Holbein Thalo Turquoise. So now Canela Sirocco, which I know probably everybody watching me knows her, but I'll mention her anyway, has not been surrounding her Dutch pores with white. And I want to try that this time. Uh, I'll link her channel below. Check her out. She does some beautiful Dutch pores. But she hasn't been doing the typical, you know, white ring around. So I want to try that. So my blow dryer is a Jinri Paris Professional. I'll link it in the box, in the Amazon box. It works great for me. I use all different air, uh, blow dryers. They all work fine for me. But uh, it's an 1875 watt, and I use it on low and cool. That's why I like this one. It has different settings for the heat, so I use cool. Here we go.
So I always start out like this with a wider pattern and then I use my airbrush or something smaller to define it more because this blow dryer has a very wide um, air path on it. But you gotta see some of these cells. Oh my God, they are to die for. So, I have my little master ear brush. I have this in my Amazon shop also. Perfect air pressure on this thing, I swear to you. And yes, I do not hold it the way you're supposed to. I like it like this. It's more comfortable for me. Got yeah, this one little area here that got to get off of there. Okay. But the problem is, is it's not matching up at here, over here at all. <laughs> so I'm going to have to work on that. Just a little bit, that's all. I cannot wait to give you guys a close-up of this. I really, really, really cannot wait. Because it is absolutely gorgeous. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little tiny mini, I think, here to try to get this to match up. So maybe just a few colors, like a little drops of them. careful going with the paint over your pretty painting here. You don't want to drip in it, which is a big chance I'm taking right now, but I'm trying to be extra cautious. And I'm just putting all the colors that I used right there like that. We're going to try to somehow blend this in. go. 
See, much better. Now it looks like it comes from this canvas over onto here. Much better. Okay, I'm done. Just one more area. I like the wispy ends. I don't like it to be straight like that. So I like to blow it out a little bit to give it a little definition. But now I'm done. Done, done, done. Let me give you a close-up. Okay, so here we go. That's the, the image from here, from my view. I may bring this down a little bit. May I just leave it alone? It's just so beautiful. I don't want to mess with it anymore. So let me show you these areas really quick. No silicone. That's just the flow troll, the paint, and the water. That's it. I love, love, love that phthalo turquoise blue by Holbein. That's that dark blue that you're seeing. And of course, you know, the gold that you're seeing and some of the uh, green and blue, light blue will be shimmery because they are iridescent colors. Look at that. Tell me that's not gorgeous. So... I want to thank you for watching this and many other pieces are available for sale. Uh, you can either email me or by Tammy at yahoo.com or check out my Etsy shop. I'm adding paintings in there daily. Some that you have never seen. And um, all the links that you need are below uh, the Amazon shop to get some of the PBO paints or, you know, if you need an airbrush, anything like that. It doesn't cost you anything extra to use my links. Um, on my social media, Instagram, Facebook, I now have a TikTok account that I'm going to have in the, the description below. Follow me on there. It's a brand new account. And, um... Let's see what else. The United We Pour, my pouring group. If you're interested in sharing your artwork with me or getting help, there's so many helpful people in there. And um, at the end of this video, you will see a link pop up for the Etsy shop and uh, another video. If you're interested in watching it, watching my videos helps support my channel so that I can keep bringing you these videos. And um, there's also a PayPal link down below for donations. So I appreciate and thank you all. And until the next time, my friends, happy pouring.